Okay, in order to work with me during this video, you will need a pencil with an eraser, preferably sharpened, a ruler, and a piece of paper. Um, this is one of the only types of artwork where I would suggest using um, a mechanical pencil. Make sure it's really soft lead so it doesn't carve into your paper. Um, the reason for that is because this is a very precise way of drawing and so mechanical pencils work well with this type of drawing. So this is the one point linear perspective demo. This is video number one. Okay, and it's linear perspective with the word line featured. That's very important because what we're doing is we're creating depth on a flat surface. The piece of paper is a flat surface. So how do we make it look like you're going into the piece of paper to make it more interesting? Always make sure you take your ruler and that it's a nice ruler that does not have a curved end on it. You want to be, be sure that the edge of your ruler is lined up with the edge of your paper because that way you know your line is straight. What you want to do, this is your horizon line. It's a horizontal line called the horizon line because you are going back to the horizon. This is where the sun comes down. This is where everything disappears right behind that line. And then in the very middle, you want to put a vanishing point. I'm going to call it VP. So that way I'm not drawing or writing way too much into my drawing space. The vanishing point is where you want all of your receding lines to go, where you want your objects to go back to the vanishing point. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn a square, which is a shape, into a form using one point linear perspective. And it's called one point because we have one vanishing point. There are other versions of linear perspective as well, and we can get into that in different videos. So you want to draw a square, vertical line, vertical line, horizontal, horizontal. And then you take your corner of the square back to the vanishing point. You take this corner all the way back to the vanishing point. You make sure that your pencil's touching the ruler and the corner and that your ruler's touching the vanishing point itself. And then I'm gonna take the third corner back to my vanishing point. The reason why I'm not taking this corner back, the fourth one, I would do that if I'm making a transparent cube. I'm making an opaque cube, which is one that you cannot see through. So there's no need for me to take this corner back to the vanishing point. So once I have these lines here, this is called receding line. It goes back into space. This is vertical straight up and down and horizontal. What you wanna do now is you wanna close up your shape. I'm gonna repeat vertical, vertical, horizontal, horizontal. And then what you wanna do is you wanna decide, okay, do I want another building behind this one? Or do I wanna keep this by itself? If you're done, you wanna erase your receding lines. If you feel that you wanna add another shape, you simply repeat vertical, vertical, horizontal, horizontal, not diagonal. Some people will go and they'll do a diagonal line here. And that is one of the number one mistakes that people do when they're learning one point linear perspective. So it's super important to remember the only lines that you wanna use are horizontal, which is left to right, right to left, vertical, which is up and down, and receding, which go back to the vanishing point, okay? So I decided, ultimately, I wanna have another shape back here. So I did go ahead, okay, and I added another set of horizontal and vertical line. And then I need to make sure that I have the back of my building as well. So vertical and horizontal. Another way to make sure you're drawing straight right here, sure, you can use your ruler. It takes a lot more time if you do that, but if you'd like to and that makes you feel comfortable, then go for it. Another thing you can do is make sure this line is lined up with this line and also that two edges of your paper. Your vertical line, you wanna make sure it matches straight up and down and straight up and down the edge of your paper. So I feel like I'm done. I don't need any more shapes behind this. So I'm gonna get rid of my receding line. One thing that you always wanna make sure you're doing when you're drawing in linear perspective is you wanna draw very lightly. I didn't really do that. I should have drawn a little bit lighter, 
but that way you can erase your line work. So I feel like this is just kind of flappy. It's just this, you know, shape that's not, nothing's happening here, right? It needs to be finished. So what you want to do is this is an ultimately a square. So you copy this horizontal line right here and you copy this vertical line right here. Okay, there's no need for you to see the entire thing. And the reason for that is because this shape is in your foreground space in front of this shape. If you'd like to go ahead and practice doing the same method on the right hand side, you would do the same thing here. You do a square, okay? And then you take the three corners back. I can show you this very quickly because we did step by step, but just to reiterate what to do. Okay, you take the three corners back. And I'm always making sure that my vanishing point is on my ruler. Then I'm going to repeat vertical, vertical, horizontal, horizontal. And then if I want to add another one, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. Okay. And then I'm going to get rid of the excess receding space that I don't need. Keep it nice and clean as you go because otherwise it technically couldn't get it can get very confusing you want to make sure that you have 100 percent accuracy here because this is a mathematical type way you know it's a way of drawing that's very mathematical and accurate so i want to finish this up so i copy this vertical vertical and i copy this horizontal horizontal if you'd like to make a shape that is below or even above your vanishing point in one point linear perspective then let me get rid of this receding line description here so it's not in our way i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to start with um, a rectangle i want my rectangle to go on both sides of my vanishing point so that i can show you guys more depth right and then i'm giving it a good amount of space away from the horizon line too so that that way it has enough space for more depth as well. So I have my rectangle and then I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to take corner number one and go back, corner number two and go back. And then I'm going to repeat this horizontal line. And then what is so magical about this is that's it. <laughs> that's it. Okay. So in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to use cutouts. Right now, what I'd like to show you is um, how to draw the three shapes that we just did above the horizon line. The shapes that are below the horizon line currently are bird's eye view, because pretend there is a bird up in the sky looking down at these buildings. They're looking down at the tops of the buildings. If you have shapes that are at eye level, they're on the horizon line here. If you have shapes that are worm's eye view, where something is crawling on the ground, a worm, for example, looking up, then it's worm's eye view and you would see the bottom of the shape. So in the next video, I'm actually going to show you how to do worm's eye view and eye level in one point linear perspective.